In this video, we'll be solving an exponential decay problem using the equation y equals y sub 0 times e raised to the kt. The y in this equation is the amount of substance after some time t. The y sub 0 is the amount of substance at time t equals 0. e is the irrational number 2.7182818, etc. k is a constant of growth or decay. If k is a positive number, then we're dealing with growth. If k is a negative number, then we're dealing with decay. And t is time. The example that we'll be working is if 800 grams of a radioactive substance are present initially, and 2.5 years later, only 400 grams remain, how much of the substance will be present after four years? Now, this type of problem needs to be done in two steps. The first step will be to find the value of k. So let's write down our variables, y, y sub 0, k, and t. So our first step is to find k. We don't know what that is just yet. We have 800 grams present initially. So that means at time t equals 0, y0 is 800. And our time, 2.5 years later, 2.5 years, we only have 400 grams, so that's after some time t. So after 2.5 years, we have 400. So now we'll put these values into our equation. y equals y sub 0 times e to the kt. So 400 equals 800 e to the k times 2.5. We need to isolate our factor with the k in it. So we're going to divide by 800. And these cancel. 400 divided by 800 is 1 half, or 0.5. And I'm going to write this as 2.5k. Now, since our variable is in the exponent, we need to ln both sides to get it down on the main line. So ln both sides. And we now have ln 0.5 equals ln e raised to the 2.5k. Now we'll use the property of logarithms that says if we have an exponent on the argument of a logarithm, we can take that exponent and write it as the coefficient in front of the logarithm. So ln 0.5 is equal to 2.5k times ln e. Now we know that if the base of our logarithm and the argument of our logarithm are the same, and we know that the base of a natural logarithm is e, if these are the same, then this is equal to 1. So now my equation becomes ln 0.5 equals 
2.5 times k. To get k by itself, I need to divide both sides by 2.5. So k is equal to ln 0.5 divided by 2.5. So on our calculator, we have ln 0.5. We need to close up the parentheses after the argument before we can divide. Divided by 2.5 equals. So k is approximately a negative 0 0.277. Now we want to keep this value in the calculator. So even though we wrote uh, k as three decimal places. We're going to use the whole decimal that's in the calculator for our calculations. And the way that we do that is to store it in the memory. Let me move my calculator up a little bit here. Uh, we're going to use store. That's this button right here. And we're going to hit store. And when we do that, the calculator brings up the different memory places where we can store it. Um, my A is underlined, so to choose memory A, I'll just press the enter. And then our display shows that this answer went into memory A. Now I can clear, and in order to get that value back, I'll use recall which is the second, right above the store button, you'll see RCL, that's recall. So I need to hit second and then recall. And if I wanted a different number, I could go over, but I don't have anything stored in these values. But in my memory A, I have my negative 0.277. So to recall the value that's in A, I would press enter. And then you can see that there's a lot of decimals. If we move to the left here, this is the beginning of it. So there's a lot of decimals uh, stored into the calculator for memory A. All right, continuing with our problem. We now know the value of k, and we want to find out how much of the substance will be present after four years. So our initial value, we're going to continue with that. But now our amount uh, we want after four years. So our time is now going to be four years, and we're looking for that amount after four years. So we're looking for y this time. So this is going to be our uh, thing that we're looking for. And then k we know, now know is negative 0.277 stored in the calculator. So our equation then, y equals y sub 0 e to the kt. My y is what I'm looking for, so I'll leave that as y. My y sub 0 is 800. e raised to the k is negative 0.277 times t, which is 4. So we can enter this on our calculator. We have 800. And then to get E, we need to do second LN. 
and that automatically raises, opens up the exponent with the parentheses. Um, instead of entering this number, I'm going to recall the memory that I stored. So second recall and I put it in memory A, so I need to press enter. Now you can't see everything that's there, but if we move to the left, there's our uh, problem that we've already entered, E raised to the negative, and then we're going to keep all those decimals. and multiply that by 4, and then close up our exponent. So that value then is approximately 263.9.